Hey guys, and welcome back to the Netrunner. I guess that this isn't really a specific game, but uh, you should catch game one if you haven't seen it already. Um, you see Grant and Tim switch roles here and play. Tim's playing Jinteki, and Grant was playing uh, Noise. That's great. And now this is game two, and uh, Grant won the first game. He's at plus three agenda points, so Tim's going to have to really make it happen. I am Steven. And I'm Robert. And we're with TeamCovenant.com. We love what we're doing, and we love Netrunner. So uh, join us, would you? Uh, Grant's playing the HB Stronger Together, which I think he was trying out during this tournament. This opens up with a hedge fund. And a lot of people think this agenda is weaker. I know you've run it as well. Uh, Robert, what are your what are your thoughts on Stronger Together as a whole? Well, it's, uh, it's definitely a curious little thing. I think on the whole, I would agree with most of the people that say that the other one is better where you're getting the credits. But if you like to run Bioroid Ice, which I definitely do just because I, I love flavor of HB in that regard, uh, that's not, there's nothing better, and I can only assume that as time goes by and we see more and different Bioroid ice, uh, it'll get better and better. Nice. So Grant's turn uh, played Hedge Fund, played a piece of ice on the hand, and then gained a credit. Tim responds by playing Doppelganger, immediately kind of revealing that he's using this uh, new console, which is awesome, so we'll get to see how that plays out. I think this was the first tournament where that pack was legal, so uh, we're seeing some experimentation. Tim also drops a compromised employee, then he's going to gain uh, two credits from accessing HQ. Looks like he had Donna's campaign, which he's not going to be able to trash. He is too po. And it looks like, I believe he has one more action here, which he's going to use to play Armitage. Good busting. And get some cash. So, pretty pretty great uh, little first turn for both guys here. That's I'm surprised that Grant couldn't res that HQ ice. Uh, it's yeah. interesting, for sure. It's definitely interesting. So... Let's see, bringing out a Biotic Labor. Is biotic he going to quick score something? Probably going to quick score something here. So he's going to pay a lot to develop the accelerated beta test. All right, nice. What's he going to get? I hope it's good. Hopefully there are no agendas, because, man, that is the best yeah, way to like get Yeah, he's got a bit. Vitruvius there, but he does also have an Archer. What? That is awesome. That's one of my favorites. Boom. Archer. On archives? <laughs> Guess what just went in the archives. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> No hey, surprises uh, there. Hey, by the way, uh, <laughs> which is kind of, you know, I'm not sure I like that. Silly. The, uh, the what? The archer play here. Putting uh, it over archives? Yeah, putting it over archives, because now Tim's one inside job away from what, unless, and if there was no agendas there, it would be genius. Oh, man. Oh, man. False Tim lead. Tim scores a false lead, and runs it again. Trash his edge of world, runs it again. And scores a priority wreck. Oh, man. About, this is not looking good. How about Netrunner? And then he's a Heimdall or Janus. Yeah, Janus. So jumping up to four points here. Real quick. Ooh, that early score really put uh, Grant behind here, not establishing ice on R&D. That hurts. Definitely hurts. But so anyway, he's got an uh, Archer on Archives, which is basically saying, hey, there's an agenda here. So now Tim knows he's one inside job away from yep. at least two points. It's a temporary uh, fix. It's uh, it's probably not good long term unless you're just getting beta test after beta test after beta if test. If you hit R and D instead, you know what would what would have happened? Yep. So he's gonna run HQ, and we're gonna res the hourglass. Nice. See ya. It's all one of my actions. favorites. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't res it the first time. So good use of that. Yep. Good use of that. There goes an entire turn. An entire turn, people. At least he gets through. That's right. <laughs> and he scores a Vitruvius. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That is crazy. I'm in I'm in disbelief here. This is the most unlucky game. And he doppelgangers of all time. back into it and uh, and doesn't worry about losing action. That doesn't matter. Yep. He just scores an Adon or uh, trash an Adonis. So now Tim really one inside job away from, from this winning the game, yeah. Here. Yeah. So at this point, if you're just running damage control, do you put an extra piece of ice over archives just to try to protect it a little bit? I, you got to put something there to prevent the inside job. You know Criminal has it. Yep. Tim can uh, just draw three times and try to find it if he... I don't know, man. It's crazy, dude. It is absolutely With crazy. only one credit, too, I think r and is wide open. Man. It's a pop-up window. There you it go. It is. So we're going to see a card. Get some money. Look like a biotic labor. And is he gonna? He's not gonna doppelgang, I imagine. But what will come Grant next? probably feels a little rough right now. I know how that goes. Yeah, for sure. Tim's gonna gain some cash from Armitage, and then he's gonna run <laughs> HQ. 
<laughs> the pop-up over the hourglass is really good. Pop-up window, and he's going to access one card. The Janus. He knew what it was. Yeah, he did. I'm not sure why he did do that. That's interesting. He's probably feeling high and mighty now. He's at <laughs> plus D six points. Grant's seen a lot of Bionic Labor pretty much when he doesn't want to, uh, which, boy, that card is nice whenever you're all set up, but sometimes it's a bit cloggy in the hand. It's true. It is absolutely true. Only an HP player could understand. And what is that in Grant's hand? I almost want to say that was an agenda, wasn't it? Uh, it might have been. I'm not sure. I didn't get a good look myself. And literally, you know, at this point, I would be drawing until I saw the inside job, and I would be hitting archives. There's a reason the archer went there, you know? Yeah, it's exactly like, right. It's, it's an advertisement as you, much as you anything. You can be a very, like, a very bluffy player, but bluffing an archer over archives... I mean, it's pretty it's, impressive. It's one of the most powerful pieces of ice in the game, if not the next to toll booth. So, yeah. it's hard to say why else you would have put put it there. And criminals these days just they don't run anything except Crypsis. So uh, we see going and hitting R and D doppelganging over to HQ. And man, how many more runs has doppelganger gained? That's uh, true. Here, it's true. Nuts. A lot. And that's going to allow him to gain cash from. Uh, Accessing HQ successfully, so... Maybe that's why he ran his hand earlier. Another, uh... Look at that. Another piece of ice on R&D. And we're going to oversight AI to, on Janus. To Janus. That's going to shut that down. And Grant, soft J. Grant needs to attach... Oh, there he goes. He puts a little marker on it. But there you go. I think you can actually physically attach oversight AI to the card. <laughs> yep. Nobody's going to click through that. Unless they like brain damage. They might. I don't know. They might love it. I prefer brain damage over net damage, just because I'm different. <laughs> and Tim gaining, uh, I think he's gaining his cash from compromised employee there. Man, talk about a criminal economy card. It's nuts. It's paying off. Early. Literally. I mean, when it's early, it's great. When it's late, not great. Not so great. It's not true great. with a great many cards. Uh, no. Greatly. <laughs> There's a lot of pointing going on. A lot of pointing. Hey, it's like, hey, read the card. Hey, Let's cards there, it. cards Okay, there. I'll read it. Over yeah, here, what, too. What of it? I can read it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so he's actually going to do it. That's the correct way to do it there. There you go. Install oversight AI. All right, now we all know what's happening. That's right. That's not a Fim Fatale marker. It's not. He's like, well, what if I point here? <laughs> So now, assessing the situation. Oh man, Tim's got an emergency shutdown. What? That hourglass is shutting it down, what? though. What? Man, how hilarious is that? Now, maybe, okay, to be fair, I, I guess, to Grant, to be fair, maybe he put the archer there because he's worried about sneak door beta. Yep. So it is it is double duty against criminal. That's true. But that is true. I think he would have put it on R&D if there was an agenda coming. Yeah, it, it would seem like a very automatic decision. It's like, oh man, there's an agenda. Let's uh, let's protect it over here. Yeah, and R&D is... Actually, with Doppelganger out, R&D becomes a lot more valuable to protect. Yeah, it's true. He, he hits an agenda, he can boomerang back into another agenda. Crypsis. There it is. Play Crypsis and power him up. Now we're just waiting for the credits to it's get through all that. Is that enough? Let's see. Archer at six, so he needs four total. Uh, ten total, excuse me. Looks like he's running HQ and he's breaking everything. Oh man, if he shuts down that Archer. He's going to. Biotic Labor. Shut down the Archer. That is not what you want to see. And that's kind of a shame. I don't know. I almost want him to wait till next turn so we can immediately make that run on... Uh, on archives. Yeah. Now Grant has an opportunity to play ice on that server. That's right. Biotic labor, quick! Biotic labor. And he's probably going to score another... Another project. Uh, oh, false, false lead. lead. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So he can sacrifice that, or he can use it to res Archer. See, I, I think I would have waited till next turn. Yep. But, more importantly, Grant does not have the credits to even res Archer, even though he has an agenda now. Which sucks. It's true. So Tim's, you got to make the run here. Just take a peek. Yep. Don't you just want to know? I suppose he wants to plan on his doppelgang moves of all of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. What just happened there? What was that about? Did I'm, I miss something? I'm not sure why he did not run that. 
I am very confused. That seems like a big mistake. It does, doesn't it? I mean, you would have won the game there. Yes. We know it. Uh, so going back, the that's Grant's probably like... Interesting. I was going to forge it, I guess. I okay, well, at least... Are you now going to run it? You can run it now, Tim? Wait, what was he doing? just resetting tokens or something? I don't know. And he's going to gain two. And? He's not running archives. Archives is out if his brain... Right. Okay, there he goes, finally. Whew. There it is. Making that run. Whew. He really didn't even need to wait, though. Good game for Tim. Right. Incredible luck. Yeah. So Saw everything he wanted to see, you know, which was this is the thing, though, with, with Netrunner. R&D sometimes will just give the runner lots of agendas. Yeah. So protect it. Shuffle your decks well. Pile it up and, mm -hmm. and shuffle it. And, uh, you know, if you're the runner, take advantage of the fact that sometimes agendas stick, you know? Yeah. They do. It's a great game. So, again, thanks thanks for watching, guys. This is the second game. So if you didn't catch the other one uh, with these two, you can catch it. Game one is going to be the same title, except it will be called Game 1. Um, Tim versus Grant, always a good match. And if you want to support us, teamcommander.com slash store. Or, you know, just listen to our podcast. Come on over to the site and uh, post do a that blog or thing. something. Post a blog. Do whatever you want. Anything. So thanks a lot for listening, and we will catch you next time. Peace.